I think it's very different if you've got a brand new nursery, then you can go as natural as possible. Um, buy wood that's from a sustainable source, use fir cones, use you know leaves with, that are hole punched um, and have it as natural and as open-ended as, and curiosity approached as you can. Yeah. Go to your charity shops and, and pick up you know these wonderful old metal scales and you know interesting old trunks and, and do a lot of equipping from that. But another, another position you might be in is you might have a nursery that's been running for 25 years um, or you might be buying a nursery that's, that's that old and they'll have lots of resources around that have been there for a long time, like Lego. Now Lego is made out of plastic and it's going to last for decades, so don't throw it away. <laughs> use it um, and, and carry on using it. The only, the only time I wouldn't use something made of plastic is if it's really smelly. If it's really smelly, it's probably putting off quite a, a dangerous, volatile compound, which is not good for your children, particularly any that have got asthma or any kind of condition like that. So as long as it's not giving off fumes, I would keep it for as long as possible. If you actually don't want it, because maybe it's very brightly coloured and it's you know antagonising children, I'd consider giving it away or selling it. There's loads of uh, places you can sell toys, eBay and so on, um, you know, secondhand or people come and collect toys. Give them away to your parents so that they can have a, a good long life and be used by children for hundreds of years.